Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, my name is Perry and this is Tesla DIY. I use this channel to document the build on my Tesla Model 3 as well as my wife's Tesla Model Y. So yeah, if you're new, consider subscribing if you want to see more contents like this. So first thing first, a late Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. I hope you guys had a good time. Now let's talk about what we're going to be doing in this video. So if you guys remember a couple months back, Pimp My EV, which is a big supporter on my channel. They sent me this beautiful carbon fiber steering wheel with the perforated leather with red stitching, gloss carbon fiber top, bottom, and the covers, and the red center stripe, and a matte carbon fiber surround on the back side. So this time around, they sent me this airbag cover that has the red stitching matching the steering wheel, and then a gloss carbon fiber Tesla T logo with the plain black leather to finish off to match the rest of the steering wheel. So I'm gonna be installing this today and I'm not gonna go over how to remove the airbag because I had already done that. If you want, you could uh, check out that video where I installed the steering wheel. It's the same process minus you don't have to actually take off the steering wheel. So you just unplug the low voltage from the back seat, unplug the negative terminal, turn off from the screen and then poke on both sides to release the airbag, unplug it. So I'm gonna do just that off the camera and then I'm gonna show you how to remove the OEM airbag cover and put the new one on. Because I could not find a video on how to remove it myself, so I figured I should make the video just so anyone who is in the same situation can follow the video and hopefully I can help some of you guys out there. So let's get started. Okay, so now the airbag is out. As you can see, there are a bunch of clips around that's holding the airbag cover and to remove it you have to basically pry all these tabs open so it goes past this notch to be able to be released but at the same time there are these hard plastic that is part of the airbag not part of the cover that is acting as a reverse hook that is preventing you from prying this open as you can see you can only pry so much because this thing is holding it down so what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna be using all of my flathead screwdrivers. If you have any pry tools, I would say anything that's flat, I would just bring it all out. Yeah, so I'm just gonna stick them all in like this. The more, the better, just so you can have all the tabs kind of uh, open at the same time. Because the moment you have one open and you're trying to pull from just one corner, the other corner is going to be stuck again. So you want to be working every corner at the same time if possible. So we're just going to do this and pry. And don't worry about the, the plastic being pried like too much. It's really durable. You can't really mess it up. Um, as you can see, it, it is already working its way past the notch. So we're just going to continue doing the same thing. Keep prying. Okay, that's pretty good. Now I'm gonna move on to the other side. So just keep sticking the flathead screwdriver in and pry each and every one of them. Um, I can feel it coming off already, so uh, probably this corner too. And here, oh, I think I got it. There you go. So that's how you remove the OEM airbag. This is what it looks like on the inside of the airbag. Be very gentle with it. You never know <laughs> if it's gonna explode in your face. So, as, and then as you can see, the new cover is an exact copy of the OEM one. Uh, minus the outer cover and they all have the cutout on the back in case of emergency if the airbag is to deploy um, the weakened structure on the inside where they have the pre-cut will allow the airbag to explode through the cover so you don't have to worry about the, the safety aspect because it's it's gonna work just like the OEM one putting it back is pretty easy uh, but there's one thing you do have to keep in mind 
is before you push in to lock the tabs in, make sure these guys are underneath this clip because if you lock these uh, clips in, but then to realize that you have this on the outside, then you're gonna have to go through the removal process once again. So you definitely don't want that. So make sure you push these guys in and all of them are underneath the hard plastic clip and if it is just push it in work every corner a little bit at a time there you go there you go yep i think that's it and then now we just have to plug this back in and then give it a good push and we should be good. Okay, so with the battery still disconnected, we're gonna put this right back in and then align it and then count to three and just give it a good push one two three and there you go so now let me plug in the battery and make sure the horn still works and then i'll give you a final look to see how everything looks with the new airbag cover uh, to match with the rest of the steering wheel for this video and hopefully this video helps you out if you're gonna be doing the same job to install the airbag cover and speaking of these airbag cover I will leave a link in the description where you can get them from pimp my EV it is an affiliate link so if you do purchase anything from pimp my EV I do get a little bit of a commission so anything's gonna help because I'm just gonna use the money and buy more parks and make more videos and it's win-win right anyway so uh, Thanks again for watching, I'll see you guys next time.